Oh, hey guys, this is Mikey Z. How you're doing? It's been a minute since I last posted a video. How long it's been? Uh, almost uh, six months. I think the last time I posted a video was uh, last year, around uh, December. Sorry, guys, I've been so busy, busy, busy chasing the money, chasing the moolah. And uh, when you make money, you get to enjoy it. So, uh, I've been trying to make more money so I can enjoy myself. Uh, On today's video, I'm in uh, Savannah, Georgia. I came to check out Savannah. It's been on my radar for a while. Uh, I might want to move out here one day. I've been living in Arizona for 20, almost 25 years, and you know you get tired of uh, the desert landscape and just seeing the same, same, same thing every day. I might move out here. And maybe change of environment might be good for me. Uh, so I came to check it out, see how it is, and uh, uh, you never know. Um, so I'm here in Savannah, Georgia. Came to check it out and. I'm heading to Kenya and then to Zanzibar afterwards. Uh, but before I did that, I, I, I stopped over in Savannah. Savannah is it's not far from uh, Atlanta. Uh, maybe, how long did it take me to get here? Uh, like an hour flight from Atlanta. Uh, I had a layover. So I decided to stop over in Savannah, check it out before heading, heading to uh, Kenya and heading to Zanzibar. Uh, it's a uh, memorial weekend, summertime has started and it's time for people to travel and then enjoy themselves. So I got a few trips coming up. Uh, the first thing I started was uh, Savannah, Georgia, then from Savannah, I go to Kenya, then from there Zanzibar. And uh, from there, I'll let you guys know. I don't, I'm not gonna tell you everything, but uh, you keep watching my videos and <laughs> just follow me on my trips. Uh, but. Uh, I'm sorry again, it's been a while since the last posted a video. I've uh, just, just been busy, guys, and I'll try to do a better job. Um, do, I, need to, I need to do a better job, you know, keep you guys entertained and keep you guys posted on what's going on in my life, guys. Uh, so, but for now, I'm here in Savannah. Uh, I'll be here for two to three days, and then from here, I fly to Atlanta, and from Atlanta, I Paris, uh, Paris, Nairobi, then Nairobi, uh, Zanzibar. What was that city in Zanzibar? Kisauni? Uh, Kisauni, yeah. From Nairobi. I'm not even staying in Nairobi. I'll be there for one night then. I head to Zanzibar the next day and I've never been to Zanzibar. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and if you, uh, if you if you never watch my videos, if you're new to my channel, uh, I hope you like my videos. I hope uh, you consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, you guys, uh, you keep me going, you know, you give me all the support and uh, I'm so thankful for that guys and just uh, keep on subscribing, sharing my videos, liking my videos and uh, uh, comments and uh, I try to go through all the comments uh, but sometimes I'm kind of busy but I, I try to do a better job at it so anyway guys, uh, let me show you around Savannah, Georgia and uh, I hope you like this place. I, I have a feeling it's it's gonna be a, I'm gonna like it too, you know. It's, it looks nice and green from all the videos and pictures I've, I've been looking. I'll be searching for it online, just trying to see how this place is. So from what I've seen, it's this to be a nice place. So I haven't even stepped outside yet. I'm still in the airport. Uh, these are the gates going in, inside the airport. If you're traveling somewhere else, I just came from the exit door from those gates over there. Um, so. Uh, let me show you around and uh, let's go around Savannah so and you guys uh, just follow me and see how Savannah is. Uh, so let's start with a little courtyard here by this airport uh, as people are waving each other by. Uh, it's a small airport here. I love the small airports. It's not that busy like uh, the big airports. Uh, I flew through Chicago. It was, uh, it's crazy in Chicago, so many people, and uh, I don't like that. I, I like the small airport. Um, so um, um, I'm stepping out of this airport now. Um, let me show you around this place first. Just a small, small place and just a Starbucks, and there's only one entrance to all the gates. And today is the end of the month. Uh, May it's over, and it's June starting the next uh, three days, I guess. Uh, but uh, this is just, just a place, it's not, as you can tell, it's, it's not that busy. Uh, you'll be thinking uh, it's a holiday weekend, there'll be a lot of people traveling. 
but for a small area in uh, Savannah, it's, it's not a lot of people in here to be traveling. So it's not that busy. I have to uh, catch an Uber to the hotel that I'll be staying. So let me go down those escalators and uh, uh, catch an Uber. Welcome to Savannah, so our Savannah welcomes you. Okay, so this is a baggage claim. I don't have no baggage. Uh, I just have a backpack. Everything else is checked in to Kenya from Atlanta. So I'm gonna pick up all my bags from uh, Nairobi. So it's, uh, it's connecting through Delta. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna step out to the Uber pickup location or ride share area. Give it to you, bye. Agent, thank you for flying out west and welcome to Savannah. We'll see you out there. Yeah, the weather is kind of nice here, nice and humid. I love it. I love it. I don't like the cold. I love this hot weather. This is the Uber waiting area. Right share, Uber or Lyft. We have Lyft here. We have both Uber and Lyft. So this is the waiting area. And it's, it's a small airport. So of course, you're not, you're not gonna have a lot of options. I'll probably wait for Uber for a while. But I checked the prices. It's about $19 to where I'm going. I'm, the hotel is seven miles away and uh, about $19 to where I'm going. And uh, those there are rental cars across the street. Is there are rental cars, uh, huts, and all that. So if you're renting a car, just come here and get one. But I know somebody from here, so I don't need to rent a car. So I'll be fine. I just have an Uber here. Mm, I don't know how long it's going to take, but since it's a small city, probably don't have a lot of options uh, I got the time I got the time I'm running a rush I got the time to kill there's nobody here in the Uber area I'm, I'm the only one left <laughs> so maybe it's not gonna take me a while to get an Uber all right let me order one to the hotel I'm going to the best Western I've never been to the Best Western, so I'll check it out today and uh, tell you guys how it is. I'll show you around. I was about to say you didn't even get a nap. I'm on my Uber. I'm heading to the hotel. I love this. I love this green. Green everywhere. So it looks beautiful. I love how they have done the landscaping around this airport. Oh, there's a golf stream here. Um, it's beautiful. Anyway, guys, it didn't take me long to get an Uber. I was only a customer. It only took me three minutes to get an Uber. A change of environment is nice. If I was in Arizona, all I'll be seeing is cactus trees. And this has a country feel. I feel like I'm on the countryside right now. It's beautiful. It makes me miss Kenya. Uh, there was no traffic it took me about 10 minutes to get to the hotel and uh, it's too early it's almost 1 p.m and since i had time to kill i went and got some tacos across the street and now i'm walking to the hotel and see if they will let me check in it's about 1 p.m and the check-in is supposed to be 3 p.m and hope they let me in okay guys they did let me in i was able to check in at 1 p.m and here is my room um this is a basic room king size bed it looks nice and clean uh, this will be home away from home for the next two days uh, TV I have to have my TV to watch games uh, I love to watch all kind of games soccer basketball oh look at the view uh, the freeway is up there uh, the gas station if you that's where I got the tacos uh, they were pretty good I, I'm full uh, 
and then uh, I guess it's a trucking area because they got trucks outside. So this hotel next to uh, next to the trucking area. Uh, so this is the room, and uh, I have a microwave and a fridge up here. So if I need to heat up some food, I'll be good. All right. Um, hey guys, uh, second day Georgia. The weather is perfect. I woke up well. I had a jet lag, so I had to sleep real good. Uh, right now it's 2 p.m. Georgia is three hours ahead of Arizona, so I had to get up early. Uh, so get ready for the day. Uh, my friend is out here. Uh, She's gonna take me around Georgia, check out the place, go downtown Savannah. Actually, I'm in Savannah, Georgia, so we're gonna go downtown Savannah, check out the port area, see how things are. Uh, I slept well, I woke up early, had some good breakfast. We're talking about bacon, sausage, eggs, potatoes, I'm full. And I had some coffee to wake me up. Uh, so uh, I, had a, I had a good sleep, you know, it was a long trip from Arizona. It took me almost eight hours with one layover, two hour layover in uh, Chicago. So I came from Phoenix to Chicago, two hour layover from Chicago to Savannah, another two hours. Chicago to Savannah is two hours flight, then Phoenix to Chicago was three and a half hours. So, uh, so I'm gonna go out, check out this place, and I'll show you around Savannah. And uh, I leave tomorrow. So I have one more day to check out this place. And, but the hotel is pretty good, I love it. Uh, good for the price. I'll, I'll show you guys around. Alright guys, uh, so right now we're driving in uh, downtown uh, Savannah area. Uh, it looks nice. Small streets. There's no turn lane. But it looks nice here. Uh, I hear they do act some movies in this area. Uh, five guys, they got some good subways. Uh, Starbucks is everywhere. What else is over here? Uh, Ruth Christie Steakhouse. Oh, they got some good steaks. If you want a good steakhouse, oh, they got gay pride here too. <laughs> Oh, wow look at this beautiful view uh, it's beautiful i love water i love the ocean and uh this place is beautiful and the ships i guess they sail around this area going to the port area and if you look around uh there's a bridge there's a suspension bridge uh somewhere up here coming up um, so the ships they sail underneath the bridge going to the port area Oh yeah, that's a bridge, yeah. Okay. And this give the history of this area, like how they constructed the area. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean is down here. And harbor deepening, I guess, for the ships to sail. Um, I wasn't good in geography, but you, you all, you can read it. <laughs> So we're just walking around this area. It's uh, exotic cigars, if you're into cigars, which I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just checking out this place. It's not busy for a weekday. Today is Tuesday, so it's not that busy. So this is the downtown area. Look 
Mr. Kungia, where is he? I know what is inside. That's okay. Thank you, maybe to keep talking. Maybe take a souvenir. Guess what I've seen? The Cybertruck by Tesla. I've never seen one. First time I'm seeing it. I've never seen one of these things. Damn, speaker. All electric. Let me check it out. Let me check the back. It's a nice truck. Brand new. I'm going to go to TikTok. Sophia, what else do So this is a World War II memorial with all the veterans that gave up their lives. Uh, they have their names on the ground. Uh, they have their names embedded on the ground. Uh, should be an honor if you give up your life as a veteran and uh, they have your name up here. I don't know if, if it's all the people from Georgia or just the whole United States. I'm not sure. That is... Uh, it's a lot of names, a lot of people give up their lives for the freedom, to fight for the freedom that we enjoy. Action in Negro sales. <laughs> uh, so slave trade was really prominent in Georgia uh, back in the days. Uh, so Georgia is a southern state and uh, where slavery was uh, prominent here. And you can read all the stuff. And uh, when I go to Zanzibar, I'm going to visit one of these places too. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's how they call it in uh, Zanzibar. It's crazy where we come from or where we've been before. So now we're kind of hungry. My friend suggested this place by the Marriott. Uh, she says a uh, Maasai restaurant. So we're going to check out this Maasai restaurant at the Marriott. Maasai man. It's a Maasai woman. That is a Maasai man. Uh, look at all these Maasai's on the background. I love this drawing. It's, it's, it's nice. It's beautiful. Uh, all this stuff. 
inspired by the Maasai's. Let me go around here to check what's up here. Uh, this looks to be a, like a wine cellar. Is that, is that what it's called? Where they stock all the wines? I'm not a wine person. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, check it out. I wonder how old these wines are. Uh, it's a lot of wines. Lot, lots and lots of wines. It's a big place. It's by the Marriott. <laughs> nice kebabs. That's what we had for appetizers. So this is like a little museum. Let me see what's up here. I don't know what kind of a bone this is. Uh, maybe it's an extinct animal. Uh, let me read down here what kind of animal this is. Uh, can you read that? A caveman, uh, Ice Age caveman bear? <laughs> I've never heard of such an animal, but this is the bones for all the skeletons for it. Iceman, caveman, Bear. Uh, let me see what else is around this area. I don't know what these are. Joe for something. I don't know what kind of animal. Uh, big horn. Uh, that's a big one. What is this? Task. It looks like an elephant tusk. A uh, mammoth tusk? I don't know if they're still alive or not. Probably not. Maybe that's why they have it here. I don't think they're still alive. And what is that? A rock? Uh, what kind of a rock is this? Is? Let me read. Meteorite. Uh, oh, it came from space. That's why they have it here. Wow, something from space. Uh, maybe if I take this, maybe I can sell it for a lot of money. <laughs> it's unique. But let me stop that. Let me stop thinking about that. Uh, I feel like going on a port tour. They got the Savannah port tour. Uh, using the Georgia Queen right behind me. It takes on a tour. Uh, but my friend here, she says uh, she gets seasick she gets on one of these things so she might feel like throwing up and i don't want that to happen so i may have to do that by myself but uh, no uh, maybe next time but for now let me just take a picture of this georgia queen So now we're in the mood of some ice cream. So we visited this chocolate factory to get some ice cream from here. They, they have ice cream too. Uh, it's a candy shop. If, I wish I was a little kid. <laughs> it's heaven on earth for a little kid. Got all kind of chocolates, all kind of snacks, and all those goody things. So we're here and uh, we're gonna get some ice cream and hit the road, go back to the hotel. Uh, take me back to the hotel and see what's up for the evening. Uh, I don't know what else to do for the evening. Just a different feeling and I love this green, I love the trees. Go this way. Okay. How, how often does it rain here? Mm, two days ago it was raining like crazy. <laughs> Lakes, she tell me it's not raining today. 
Ah, yeah. Okay guys, uh, today is the third day. I had a good time out here in Savannah and we are headed to Zanzibar. But I have a layover in Nairobi. Yeah. There's no direct flight to Zanzibar from Europe. So I got off to fly Paris, Nairobi, Nairobi, Zanzibar. And actually it's cheaper if I use uh, Wilson Airport. So I have to get a flight from Wilson Airport. Um, so I'm heading to Atlanta right now. And then. We're gonna connect to Paris and then we connect to um, Nairobi and then uh, Kisauni. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Savannah and I'll catch you on the next side. Bye bye for now.